Urban City Hall tonight word that there is no timeline, at least for the moment, for completion of that $900 million New Harbor Bridge project, a project that is already at least two years behind schedule. Today, council members got a chance to question the main contractors who were on hand to deliver a planned quarterly update on that project. Of course, it follows the news on Friday that TxDOT has ordered the bridge designers, FIG bridge engineers, to be replaced for safety reasons. Our Bill Churchwell here now with the update for us live. Bill. Now the big takeaway from today's update is that work continues on the Harbor Bridge project despite the action taken against FIG. So yeah, that represents about one eighth of the project. If you look at see the, the dollars, the man hours, the lineal foot of the whole project or whatever, it's a small component of it. So we have, we have a lot of work to do uh, besides the main span of the bridge. But it's helpful to have that main span to get across the channel. Oh, exactly, yes. Very critical component. Now, that was John Palmer, the deputy project manager with Flatiron Dragados, giving the update at today's city council meeting. It's important to note that FIG has only been removed from future work on the main spans of the project, basically the part over the water, but will be allowed to continue design work on other elements. As we've reported, a FIG-designed pedestrian bridge in Florida collapsed back in 2018, killing six people, and that set off red flags for other projects. TxDOT says a review of safety concerns led to the decision that FIG should be replaced. While council members were told during today's meeting that there is no timeline for completion, a representative for Flatiron also tells us safety comes first. Please be reassured, there is, there is no issue. We have no findings, everything's been rechecked and the, the safety in light of the Florida, unfortunate Florida situation, that's, that's actually, if there is such a thing as even more oversight, that has caused this project to be under a microscope. You know, I think that's important. Uh, in this case, you know, even if it does take us a little bit more time, which is, I think is also going to have an additional burden on our, our taxpayers, the important part is safety. I don't think we could live with having something happen, especially when you're talking about a structure that that's, that's that large. Now, the entire scope of the project is over six miles long, and when it comes to utility work associated with the project, developers say that is about 45% completed. Drainage work is 84% completed. Given the latest developments with FIG, city council members have also asked for monthly updates on this project. Back to you. All right, Bill, thank you. And given the, the delay on the new bridge with, as Bill mentioned, no timeline for completion, we wanted to know what's being done to monitor the safety of the current Harbor Bridge. Texas says the current bridge, which was put into service back in 1959, remains structurally sound and there are no maintenance or safety issues. Two general inspections were performed in August of 2018 and April of last year. The bridge passed both of those inspections. Another is set for August.